This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. It's episode 320, and we've got plugins for Contact Form 7 redirects, dashboard customizers, post title formatting, 3D text effects, link monitoring, and a new way to lock down and declutter the media library. It's all coming up next on WordPress Plugins A to Z. WordPress. It's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 30,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? Join John Overall and Marcus Couch for this weekly unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be hiding out there on the globe today. Coming to you direct from the Brewery Overlook in beautiful British Columbia, I'm John Overall. And from the Beachside Bunker in Laguna Beach, California, I'm Marcus Couch. And of course, we have the usual great show for you here today. Well, right off the top, don't forget, you can get all the show notes over at WPPluginsA-Z.com. And if you're listening to us on Stitcher Radio, hit that little thumbs up button in the corner. And we'd greatly appreciate a review over at the iTunes Store. Absolutely. Every little bit helps out, and we do appreciate the effort. Also remember, you can follow the show on Twitter at WPPluginsA-Z. And of course, a little bit of promotions here. I am still got just a couple of spaces left. If you're in need of some emergency support or anything for your WordPress website, I can handle it. Feel free to pick up the phone, give me a call, 818-850-7729, or just send me an email direct to john at wppro.ca. And those opportunities for Smashing Magazine authors still exist. If you'd like to get involved, just send me an email, marcus.couch at smashingmagazine.com. And actually, John, I've got a form already. If they want to just go to marcuscouch.com slash smashing, that's actually the better way to do it. And uh, we can find out a little bit more about you, what you'd like to write about, and get you right on deck. I've had uh, 17 new authors, I think, just in the last week and started to submit some articles and get approved and all that. So uh, it's a pretty quick process. So I'd encourage you to get involved, marcuscouch.com slash smashing. Excellent. And of course, we'd like to take a couple of moments here to thank our uh, donors to the show. Uh, This week here, we have $50 from Jeremy at Jazzweb Pty Ltd. And a little note with that one here, this donation is on behalf of Norwest Gas. This is a Jez Web client, was keen for a full rebrand, including a new logo, website, and content. It's not common yet that we ask a client to have a video full of screen backdrop like this site, but love the effect. Video, video backgrounds can be dramatic, and it's likely as internet speeds increase, we'll get to use higher quality, longer loops more often. Check it out at norwestgas.com.au. And if you're looking at the video, that's actually a pretty cool uh, screenshot there. Hmm. So you should see how, should see how it, it looks, man. I'll check it out. Thank you very much, Jeremy. We appreciate that. And if you'd like to donate, uh, any uh, any amount is is great. Uh, but we also have a Patreon at patreon.com slash WPPluginz A to Z. We can donate on a monthly basis. And remember, anybody who comes in over that $50 level gets their note read live on the podcast as well as links within the show notes. All right. And this week here we have uh, just a few interesting pieces of news for everyone out there. We've got first off uh, an article here that you really need to read. It is, is your word, is your website accessible? If not, you could be violating the ADA. And this is kind of an important one as a new lawsuit has just, someone just won a lawsuit against the company for their website not being accessible. And this may impact you. So you want to read this over and check into this information to make sure your uh, website is fully accessible according to the ADA rules of the states. Accessibility is something that we often always overlook. And uh, there is actually an article that someone's writing uh, for Smashing that talks about it's called like ally a one one y or something like that that 
is an audit for accessibility. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that article when it's fully written so I can understand a little bit more about it. It's something that I really don't know a whole heck of a lot about. And this is a great article. So we've got that one in the show notes. Um, next in the news items, WordPress.com is opening itself up to third-party plugins and themes. Uh, just for business accounts currently, but that's huge. It that's is very big. It is. Huge. That means that hosting is like part of, part of the hosting equation is out of the process uh, because WordPress is allowing you to do that. So that's that's a big thing. So check out that link. Yeah, that's going to be a huge thing for WordPress, and it's going to actually impact hosting in the uh, long run. I think. Yeah, definitely. And another article here, uh, how to uh, find yourself a WordPress developer. It's an interesting article, and it lists up a lot of different services out there that currently exist for hunting down and finding a WordPress developer. So you'll want to go check out that article, too. All right. And the only other thing I've got this week, real briefly, there is no new training video up. I ran into an incident last week where I lost power in my neighborhood for about six hours. So the day I had dedicated to the show, I couldn't do a single thing but watch my blank, blank computer screen and sit back hmm. and read a book. So made for a nice relaxing day, but uh, prevented me from actually getting any real work done. So new yeah. training video will be arriving in next week, though. Look for it. Great. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up the stuff here, so let's uh, dive right into the meat and potatoes, eh? All right, let's do it. Off we go. All right, first up this week here, I have a plug-in that was sent in to us by Natalie Anderson, and this plug-in is called Post Title Formatter, and it was uh, sent in to us to, uh, well, as from the WP Plugins A to Z website, where you can go if you're a developer, you can submit your plugins for review and get them in here sooner than we might find them on our own. Anyway, first off, this is a simple plugin, no configurations required for it that I can find. Once it installs, it does a couple of simple things for you. It capitalizes the first word in your post title, as well as ensures that you have spaces after any, any commas. It removes any full stops at the end. Pretty basic plugin. Uh, you just turn it on activated. The one thing I found with it, if you do make these mistakes while you're creating your post title, it doesn't show, it doesn't correct them in the back end. It only corrects them in the front end for you. So you'll always see those mistakes in the back end, but it corrects them in the front end. All in all, an okay little plugin can help you out with your um, with your post creation. I give it a three dragon rating. Go check it out. Nice. All right. Well, a lot of us uh, use Contact Form 7 because it's free and Gravity Forms and those kinds of things are not free. Um, one of the things that I liked about Gravity Forms is that it could redirect Tori. to a different page once they are I'm done the submitting Stop. their form. And now I found this plugin called CF7 Redirect, which does the exact same thing. It adds the option to redirect to any page you choose after the successful mail has been sent. And so what it does is it does it without Ajax and any of those events. Uh, you just simply go to your form settings within Contact Form 7. You choose the redirect tab and you just set the page where you want it redirected to. Uh, this plugin does require uh, version 4.2 or later of Contact Form 7. So if you haven't updated in a while, this is a good reason to go and update. I gave this one a 4 out of 5. Very nice. That's a nice add-on for Contact Form 7. I see there's more and more of those add-ons out there, so I think Contact Form 7 will pick up eventually. I just don't yes. like its uh, interface for creating forms. Yeah, I'm uh, starting to fall. I'm, I'm starting to get a big crush on Caldera Forms lately, but <laughs> uh, Contact Form 7 is also a, something that I use. Okay, next up, I have another plugin. It's called MM Dashboard Customizer. It was sent in to us by Maroon Melhem. And this is a plugin that will help you do some basic customizations to your dashboard. And it is a pretty decent plugin. It helps you make some changes to your plugin, your dashboard, such as uh, you can customize the login page for your with your own colors and logo and background. You can remove a couple of the annoying wid widgets in the dashboard itself. You can uh, customize the page background for the login, uh, change text colors. Uh, go in and adjust and change some widgets in there. You can tweak the header uh, bar just a little bit in it. 
and you can also tweak the footer bar with your own customized message in there. And one other thing it does for you, if you are in need to reset all of your plugins in there back to their default settings when they were first installed, there's a one step button to do that. But beware, once you do it, it's unchangeable. So it's a way to you know start over again if you need to. All in all, a pretty great little plugin. And uh, from my little tweaks, it's a nice way to do some quick customizations to the dashboard to kind of customize it up for yourself and up for your clients. Get rid of some of the stuff you know they won't want to see, especially in that dashboard login area where you have all the added widgets that they will never use. So anyway, check it out. I gave it a four dragon rating. It's the MM Dashboard Customizer. Very nice. All right, uh, this is a fun little plugin. It's called 3D Effect Text, and it's a really simple plugin that just uses CSS to transform text, uh, your title, your heading, anything that, like that. It just stands between two different short codes, and it creates kind of a, a centered, uh, kind of a raised lettering effect in 3D with some cool shadows and stuff. Uh, it'd be great to use this on any kind of page that's maybe a sale page or uh, something that you just want to get that cool kind of, you know, over the top, uh, not just bold, but, you know, really fancy text. Um, we're showing it here on the screen for our video version of the show, but uh, you can check it out for yourself on the WordPress repository with the link in our show notes. It's called 3D Effect Text, and I rated it a four out of five. Yeah, that's kind of cool looking. I like the way that uh, does that and would be quite handy. And it gives you, well, yeah, adjust the colors and tweak it out the way you want it. Nice. Absolutely. Everything, yeah. All right. Final one I've got up here today is called Surly. It was, again, sent in to us by Mike Champs. And this is a third-party service that connects your website to monitor all the outbound link links off of your website. Currently, the service is free. Uh, you never know how long that's going to happen with a service, though, because, you know, free means they got to be getting something for it somewhere. There's no such thing as free. But uh, what it does for you is it monitors the outbound links of your website. And when people click on the outbound link and follow it, it creates a toolbar up at the top that they then follow. And... Uh, it checks where the link is going to see if it's leading to spam or adult content or some other place you really don't want your visitors to wander off to. But it helps keep them within your domain, thereby raising the length of time on your domain for SEO results and other such things. All in all, I'm not really sure how I feel about this plugin, but it does seem to have some great uses. You might want to go check it out. And as I said, currently it's a free service. So... Give it a check out at current. I give it a four dragon rating. It's called Sir Lee. Hmm. That's something that that pretty links plugin does as well. Is that kind of same kind of thing. Interesting. Okay. Well, I've saved the best for last here, John. I'm always one to bitch and complain about the media library. And I found a really cool companion plugin to this called Restrict Media Library Access. So when you enable this, what it does is it restricts access for authors and contributors, not admins and editors, but authors and contributors, so that they can only see their own media library uploads when they go to the media library, which is nice because nice. it helps to, to prevent them from seeing system images and stuff that you use to... to actually create the website and stuff that other people have actually uploaded. So that's really a cool thing. Um, it, it does that by actually kind of tagging them as the individual person and, or the owner actually of the content. So it prevents them from seeing anybody else's media, uh, anything like that, that belongs to other authors. So as a reminder, admins, editors, uh, all that, you'll still be able to see everybody's uploads within the site. It doesn't really work for you, but if you want to separate it out between your contributors and your authors, this is a great way to do it. It's called Restrict Media Library Access, and I rated it a perfect five out of five. Very cool. I like that idea to uh, restrict it to only the stuff they upload, and you're right, it does help clean up their library for them versus yes. uh, the mess that's usually left behind after you build a website. There's always a lot of images in there. Yeah, if you were an off, if you had a site where you had maybe 50 authors, it could get really confusing really fast 
And this is a great way to split that up. All right. Well, that wraps it up. This week here, I covered the post title formatter, which I gave a 3 2, the MM dashboard customizer, which I gave a 4 2, and the Surly, which I gave a 4 2. And I talked about Contact Form 7 Redirect, which gets a 4 out of 5, 3D Effect Text, which gets a 4 out of 5, and Restrict Media Library, which gets a perfect 5 out of 5. All right, well, before we close out the show, just to let everyone know, this will probably be the last show with this particular format. We've had some recently some really great feedback from Dave over at uh, Podcasting uh, School of Podcasting and his uh, podcast rodeo. And uh, we're going to be doing some change-ups to the show coming up and going forward. As we said, the next six months, we're trying to make this the best show. No, we're going to make this the best WordPress podcast show out there. And uh, what is happening, well, I'm sure you'll be quite impressed with. And for those of you who've been listening to the show, where you've been skipping forward to the sound, that probably won't be possible anymore going forward, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to listen. You'll have yeah, to there's listen. A couple- a couple of things that, um, you know, when you when you have peers that you've known for a long time and they give you suggestions about stuff, uh, you tend to listen. It's like when comedians are out there, they tend to only kind of listen to other comedians yeah. uh, when it comes to material and things. So we, we went out and I actually paid Dave to listen to the show in the beginning and all that. And um, as I told John earlier today, um, when somebody that has been your friend for over a decade skips past the, the, the front messages just to get to the plugins every week. Um, there's something going on there that we got to investigate. So we're going to change things around just a little bit, probably make it a little easier for you as a listener and give you different opportunities to hear the content within the show. So everything's going to stay the same. We're still going to review all the plugins. We're still yeah. going to do all that stuff. Uh, it's just, we want to kind of uh, give you the content a little bit sooner. So, um, Stay tuned next week as John and I kind of work this out. Uh, th- next couple shows might be a little... A um, little rough maybe, but hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little rough around the edges, but we're working it out for you. And we just want to let you know that we appreciate you listening, uh, everybody that listens. And, you know, this is the, the longest running continual WordPress only show that is in existence. And so yeah. we want to make sure that you're getting a great experience every single time that you trust us to you know deliver content to you and to, and to make this one of your favorites as far as your podcast list goes so thanks for for everybody that's listening and you know we're doing this for your benefit so i hope you like it absolutely all right and the usual reminders stop in at the itunes itunes store leave us a review subscribe to the show and also if you're listening to us on stitcher radio hit the little thumbs up button leave us a review there subscribe to us there that's what we ask for you and also, you can donate to the show by going to WPPlugins, A-Z.com, forward slash donate. Every little bit helps. And uh, that's pretty much it. Awesome. And how can they contact us, John? They can reach me on my website at johnoverall.com or send an email direct to john at wppro.ca. And you can find me at my website, marcuscouch.com, on Twitter at Marcus Couch. And remember to follow this show on Twitter at WPPlugins, A-Z. And that's all we got for you now. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyrighted by johnoverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today.